Welcome back everyone to yet another episode about TC efficiency. Uh, there's been quite a few of these. It's quite a long topic and I'm hoping that I have managed to convince you that you can have a co-op greater than one. Not an efficiency greater than one, but a co-op of one. And when people generally talk about efficiency, they are actually talking about co-op. However, so far, I haven't provided any information to support my argument that what I'm telling you is actually the, actually the truth. Thus far, I have shown you that a air conditioning unit can create co-op greater than one, and I have used my own software that I wrote to help you believe that my underlying statement is correct. Now that is, of course, never how you should ever be able to convince someone that something is correct or not by using one's own program to back up your facts. Uh, that is something you should, shouldn't do. Uh, so what I suggest you do is you actually look to other people to see if whether or not I said is correct. And I need to clarify to people, I do not mean the internet, as in I do not mean forums, and I don't really mean YouTube either. If you want the facts about thermoelectric cooling, you should actually go to the source. And what is the source? The people that actually make the thermoelectric cooling devices. They should know how they actually work and therefore tell you the truth. So that's what we're going to do now. So here is a TC manufacturer. They have an FAQ and they have one on efficiency. What do they say about it? What is efficiency of? Technically, the word efficiency relates to the ratio of the amount of work one gets out of a machine to the amount of power in. So they're also agreeing that it's not an efficiency statement. In heat pumping applications, this term is really used because it is possible to remove more heat than the amount of power input it takes to move that heat. For thermoelectric modules, it is standard to use the term coefficient of performance rather than efficiency. The coefficient of performance or co-op is the amount of heat uh, divided by the amount of supplied electricity. Co-op depends on the heat load, input power, and the required temperature differential. Typically, the co-op is between 0.3 and 0.7 for a single stage application. However, co-ops greater than one can be achieved, especially when the module is pumping against a positive temperature difference. That is when the module is removing heat from an object that is warmer than the ambient. The figure below shows a normalized graph of co-op versus IMAX, that's uh, amps, the ratio of input current to the module's IMAX specification. Each line corresponds to a, uh, corresponds with a constant DT uh, temperature difference, the ratio of the required temperature difference to the module's DT max specifications. Well, that got a bit wordy at the end. But what you can see is that there is plenty of lines that are actually going way off here. This is 100% or one, well off here. So this would go up here somewhere. So would this one, so would this one. And obviously these ones are getting close to 100% or a co-op of one. So this manufacturer accepts the belief that its own devices can achieve a co-op greater than one. Yes. How about someone else? Custom thermoelectrics. This is a bit less clear. But if you download their specifications for their TECs, you can roughly work this out. So if we go to this graph, uh, for 30 watts moved, it uses 8 amps, which is this point here. And over here, how much power is 8 amps, and that's using what? I don't know, what's it, 0.75 of a volt? So that is going to, if we did the mass on that, that would be definitely less than 30 
so the input power will be well under the amount of heat it can move. So that is also pretty much backing up the statement that TECs can have a co-op greater than one. And I have actually done a, a video series on specifically this company's data sheets and what they actually mean. So I'm hoping that you don't need to believe me. You can believe TEC manufacturers that what I'm saying is correct. There is one last question that may be asked, or maybe not, but I'm going to answer it anyway. Why 136% efficiency? So this entire video series has said uh, that TECs are 136% are efficiency. Why specifically that number? Well, really, the answer to that is that is how many subs I had when I started this series, 136. And I know that you can achieve 136% efficiency. Well, really, co-op. You can't get 136% efficiency. So that is why. There you go. Hopefully you've enjoyed this entire series. I hope you've learned something. I hope we've all learned things together. Uh, pop us a like if you like it. Pop us a like if you don't like it. Subscribe if you want. Don't su subscribe if you don't want to. But I would suggest if you don't like it or don't want to subscribe, you're not here. All right, guys. I shall see you on the next one. But I'm not sure there will be a next one. Do you want another one? We don't.